Nevada Tourism Board uh, invited us out to uh, explore their Highway 50. 30 years ago, it was written up in Life Magazine as the loneliest highway in America. Now, you might ask yourself, why would you want to visit the loneliest highway in America? It's more than just a lonely highway. It's more than just a long stretch of road. There's actually some really cool stuff out there that most people just kind of just drive right by. It's one of those places in the world where if you don't look, if you got your blinders on just getting from point A to point B, you're gonna miss a lot of interesting stuff. I think one of my favorite parts about the trip was our stop at Sand Mountain. Right in the middle of this desert, there's just nothing but flat, flat sand until all of a sudden this 600 foot pile of sand shows up and it comes to a nice sharp peak and we, we roll up there and there's people riding dirt bikes and there's people on ATVs cruising all the way up top of it and uh, just flying down, kicking sand everywhere. There's just something special about being out in the middle of nowhere in the, in the, in the dry desert out there. It's just kind of that, that feel where there's just not many, there's nobody watching you, there's not as many rules, there's not, it's just, it's just, it's just different out there. We stopped at this little pharmacy that had been shut down in the 1970s. The shelves were all completely still stopped. And this guy opened it up and now it's a, it's a museum that, that kind of shows the history of the, of the town and, and everything around it. Everywhere you go is just a little bit of a little bit of quirkiness in Nevada. It's just the, the little stuff, the little details, just the stuff that you can't find anywhere else in the world or very few places in the world. It's just uh, an interesting place.